tonight in the studio. We couldn't have asked for a better panel. Luis Garcia and Michel Salgado, both Champions League winners. Luis, of course, knows Liverpool That's ever all. so uh, uh, well. We'll we'll talk about the Real in the next few minutes, but it's true that it's a fantastic team. Martino done such a a, a good job with with this team. Very good organised, uh, with a very strong defence and with a lot of talent up front. So Liverpool have to uh, today be. Uh, very calm, uh, not get relaxed, very calm, but uh, of course try to don't concede because it's a, a very good team at front. Yes, yes again, we'll see again Firmino as a fast nine, like we were saying that it's called right now. But it's true that uh, they got a, we're going to have a Stuart uh, waiting on the bench. But it's true that uh, right now Origi was a, a key man for Liverpool. He's been fantastic for the last few, few weeks. Uh, he had uh, that bad injury against Everton. Uh, I like it for, for the team. And also, uh, with the bad news about Sako that well, uh, he won't be able to play again during this season, and we'll see what happens uh, for the rest because uh, uh, it's going to be uh, a new a new test in, in the future. So, well, uh, I think it's something that club uh, have been uh, dealing with during the whole season because not, I think uh, not many times he had the chance to to have the whole team together, to, the whole team to pick the the, the right eleven. Whatever happens tonight, you you can see if, if Liverpool end up going one two down, they'll have the belief. To do yes, it again? Of course, of course, they, sh they, they, they show it before. So I think right now, uh, Michi just said, they believe that the team right now has got the confidence in itself that anything can happen because they can come back. I think it's, it's fantastic for oh, the yeah. team. And they are going to go to Anfield. You know what that means. Yeah. They must be. They must be <laughs> looking for to don't concede. They know how mm -hmm. important it is to, away, uh, to have a, a goal away. And um, for Liverpool, they've been trying. Also, I, I, I haven't seen a. Uh, uh, Liverpool just yes, looking for the goal. They've been controlling uh, the game. The most important, just yes, trying to 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 see how is uh, Villarreal playing at home. Of course, when you watch it on TV, it's not the same as when you, when you are on the pitch. And uh, after a few chances, you can see Liverpool uh, under control of uh, of the game. I still missing one uh, target man up front because we we've seen too many uh, crosses and crosses. And uh, at the end, uh, from, from the not, Liverpool point of view, yeah, exactly. Because at the end. Firmino is not a, a striker, he's not a, a man who can be inside the box for the whole time. So he's moving around and when we receive the, the, the crosses from uh, um, Alberto or Alberto Moreno or, or Klein, at the end there's no one to, to finish him. Is Firmino what, what they call a false nine? <laughs> is, is that what we're seeing tonight? In Spain, yes. <laughs> it is. That's uh, how, how it's called uh, uh, these days. But uh, yeah, he's, a, he's a, a behind the striker, the player who plays behind the striker. Uh, a second striker, you can call it a different way, but I think it's... It's only a second player. striker if you've got a first striker, yeah. but there yeah. isn't a yeah. first there's striker not, tonight. There's <laughs> not, exactly, but uh, he's that kind of player. Uh, he likes to move, he likes to receive the ball in between the line, he likes to look for those spaces, he's not attacking man. He, he likes to be in the up front, but I think he's not the, the player for this game that can finish uh, the, the plays, because uh, uh, he's going to be always outside of the box. Which must be, I mean... Uh, he, uh, in the first uh, few minutes, we saw uh, Villarreal just going forward, trying to control the game. But it's been Liverpool the one who had the control for the most of the, of the time. It's true, but not creating the clear chances. Just but the one was against from Joe Allen early on. That's about exactly. as good as it but it, it's, it's again what, what Mitchell is, is talking about. At the end, both of them, they got so much respect. That's a fantastic uh, strike, uh, but also a uh, uh, second Can, can, I, the, can I be goal. unkind here? Did that fall to the wrong player? <sighs> it can be, I think can, can surprise you sometimes. Uh, uh, we saw him, yes, uh, trying to, to, to get some shots from outside the ball from far away, very close. I remember a ball not long ago, he was very close to the top corner and it can surprise you. But yeah, uh, it's what we're talking about. And they, the control is there, they got the control, but I don't see uh, enough number of players inside the box. Uh, yeah. All of them are arriving from the you know, back. From I think it's counting with that. You got on the bench, you're the knife, Stewart, Benteke. I think it's got to do with that. Yeah. Uh, it depends how the, the game is going. On the second half, I got a power in my, on my bench that I can use it any time I want. And I know that they are going to bring goals yeah. into the game. Optimistic in the second half? Yes, I am. I am. I think, uh, like we were saying a uh, uh, few minutes before, uh, it's under control. Um, it's not, uh, right now, Villarreal is not damaging too much uh, to the defenders of, of Liverpool. We are attacking, uh, we are having crosses, we are shooting from outside. It's true that no clear chances, only one from uh, Joe Allen, as we've seen. And uh, like I said before, I think uh, Jürgen has got uh, something hiding, and uh, probably in the second half he's going to bring very soon uh, storage. And why not uh, uh, Jordan Ive, some, uh, a player who can change the game in, in one second. So hopefully we can score uh, a goal and we'll see what is going to happen. It hasn't been a, a, a fantastic game to watch. Uh, too much respect, control, midfield, chances at the end. 
But both sides, this game could have a change in, in one second because, uh, as uh, Cole was saying, uh, the, just before the goal, we had this one why and another it, one of our... Why did it take so long to, to come to life? Did it, need the both, did it need the two teams to tire to allow mistakes to creep in? No, exactly. When, when you are uh, controlling, it happened to uh, Atletico Madrid as well. When you, uh, during the whole game, concentrate, focus, trying to don't have mistakes, um, you run because at the end the both teams have been running a lot, trying to uh, chasing the ball and trying to control the other team. When arrive the last minute, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you start committing mistakes. You are having mistakes because you're tired, uh, uh, players around you are tired, and uh, you are uh, conceding, uh, giving the ball away uh, more often. This one is a lack of concentration because you cannot uh, give one chance like this one that big. That's why Marcelino was so angry with the, with the team. You cannot give that chance coming from a, your own corner, from a corner in your favour, because it's a big chance. The thing is, I wouldn't leave Denis Suarez as the last man. That's what happened. You it's, know? A, it's a striker. It's a, it's, yeah, he's a corner four and he's the last man, you know, because probably to control the counter so. yeah, He was why, a full-back right? yeah, forward. What was he doing up there? No, exactly. Well, he, he was the one uh, who yeah. got the, the contract, but it's what he's saying. Uh, you leave a, a striker defending, in as the last probably man. the last, uh, last made man, a mistake. in the last 10 minutes. One mistake is what uh, happened with Liverpool. You will get a goal and then it's difficult to, to get the comeback. There was no urgency from Liverpool tonight. No, not at all. And they, they, they were trying to control the game, to don't uh, give too many, too many chances to be a real. And well, if you, found, uh, you find a, a goal, fantastic for you. This one was a fantastic chance of, of uh, Firmino. Great control, turn in just a split of second and, and fantastic strike that, uh, well, the keeper done well. But it's true that uh, we were expecting a bit more up front because, again, uh, getting a goal uh, on a away uh, stadium is, is fantastic for the team. Uh, couldn't be like this and uh, now... Do you think Jurgen Klopp would have been happy back. with the goal of straw? Was that, was that the game plan tonight? Uh, not, with that, not with that goal. I'm sure he's not going to be happy with that goal because at the end uh, you receive a goal and, and then make you uh, have to, to score goals there and Villarreal is not going to be happy there. Of course, we know it's not going to be easy there because you know the strength. You know that if you open your, your, your spaces at the back, if you go up front try to score goals, it happened against uh, Borussia Dortmund. You leave spaces and with the uh, fast players, quick players on the sides, you can receive goals. He has a great attitude to football, Jurgen Klopp. And the one thing you take from Liverpool tonight is you know he'll still have his players fired up, he'll have all the right things to say to them. They won't be too despondent going into the second leg at Anfield. No, exactly. Uh, it's always positive. Uh, you won't get him saying that they, they had a, a bad game or the, the, the result was bad. He's going to try to be positive all the time. Uh, yeah, he wasn't in the, in the game plan. I think he, he had a very clear nil nil, no concede. Try to score, but if not, we'll, uh, we'll do it at Anfield. We'll do our job at Anfield. And well, with that goal, something has changed, but uh, not too much. Uh, the idea is to arrive at Anfield with the, pre uh, with the pressure of the, of the stadium or the crowd. And, and, and get goals. If we're being positive about this, Luis, has anything really changed? Liverpool would have had to score at Anfield anyway. And then we nil nil if you know if theoretically you can go to penalties. But you yeah, had to change. score at some point anyway. Yeah, of course, but it changed. Uh, the mentality of uh, knowing that uh, you receive a goal in the last minute, the feeling is not is not the same. The confidence it, it, it drops, it's true, it's like this. But when you arrive there at Anfield and they will feel again that they can do it. We talked before the uh, the game. Uh, they know that they can do whatever right now. They just uh, beat uh, Borussia Dortmund for, by 4 to 3 in the last minute, so they know that they can do it. So that's the, the feeling they're going to get when they arrive uh, to the second leg. Uh, Luis, final word from you. Uh, do you still fancy it? Yes, I think we, Liverpool will go through. Uh, I still believe in that uh, Anfield has got that magic and uh, the team is going to do it again. <laughs> Four of the last five teams to lose 1-0 uh, in this situation in the second leg, I mean, the first leg of a semi-final, have gone on to go through. The one to lose, Liverpool. We'll see. I'm not going <laughs> to say that, anything about that. We'll wait for the second leg. <laughs> uh, Luis Mitchell, thank you very much for being thank with you. us tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Second legs coming to you live with us here on Bean Sports. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.